Now we're looking at what is a base. Now, if you take a look at what I've written out here, you can see that these numbers would actually be base 2 numbers, which basically means that we're starting at 2 to the 0 power, which is 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. Then we're going 2 to the 1st, which of course would be 2, and 2 squared, which would be 4, and 2 to the 3rd, which would be 8, and 2 to the 4th, which would be um, 16. Right? And 2 to the negative 1 would be 1 half, and 2 to the negative 2 would be 1 fourth, etc. Now those would be the number system using the base 2. Um, computers use this number system mainly because on, off it is easy to use just two digits. We we'll only have two digits in this, which essentially are going to be two. Uh, basically, uh, actually zero and one. Um, anyway, now, base 3 number systems, not so common, but still 3 to the 0 is 1. Just like 4 to the 0 is 1, 5 to the 0 is 1, 6 to the 0 is 1, and of course 10 to the 0 is 1. Now the number system we're used to, which is the number system we use every day, is based on the number 10. 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1 is 10, 10 squared is 100, 10 to the 3rd is 1,000, 10 to the 4th is 10,000. So we use these numbers every day. If we write, for example, a number like uh, 3,224.1, what we're essentially saying is that we have 4 10 to the zeros, which is 4 1s, and we have 2 10 to the 1s, which of course is 2 10s. And we have 2 10 squared, which of course is 2 100s. And we have 3 10 to the 3rds, which is essentially 3 thousands. We're also saying that we have 1 10 to the negative 1, which is of course 1 tenth. And that's the number system we use every day. We actually could use any of these other number systems. We could use the base 6. Right? If we did use the base 6, then 6 to the 0 would still be 1. And 6 to the 1 would be 6. And 6 squared would be 36, and so on. We could use the base 3. 3 to the 0 is 1. 3 to the 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 3 cubed is 27, and so on. So a base is essentially just a number that we put to an exponent. And we have entire number systems based on these. In the um, 50s and 60s, these were taught as a new math and we actually had to do math problems using these various number systems with the various bases. And we had to translate them. You know, you can easily translate them uh, from um, the base into the base 10, which is what we're used to using. Now, suppose we had a number like this. We have 1011.101, uh, and we have it to the base 2. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means basically that I have 1, 2 to the 0, which equals 1. And I have 1, 2 to the 1, which equals 2. And I have 0, 2 squared which is, of course, 0. And I have 1, 2 to the 4th, I mean 2 cubed, actually, which actually is 8. 
and I also have 1 to 2 to the negative 1 which is 1 half and I have 0 2 to the negative 2's which of course is 0 and I have 1 2 to the negative 3's which is 1 eighth. Now if I were going to turn this number in base 2 into base 10 I would simply add all of these up which would give me 8 plus 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11 and then 1 half plus 1 eighth I would get a common denominator which would make it 4 eighths plus 1 eighth would be 5 eighths. So basically this number in base 2 is equivalent to 11 and 5 eighths in base 10. Now the computer actually will use base 2 and so there's a practical use for that. 